good morning. Uh, welcome to a, uh, another installment of uh, Minutes with Marcus. Uh, forgive me if I sound a little stuffy uh, this morning. It's because, well, I ain't. Every time the weather gets to change, it's like fall does Bruce Lee on my my sinuses or whatever. So I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, you know, last week we talked about um, obligation uh, and, and loving people out of obligation instead of uh, loving people out of what's what's in your heart. And uh, you know, we talked about how you know when you decide to love people uh, or when you learn how to love people not just from an obligation or, or a requirement but you learn <clears throat> how to love them out of what's in your heart and if you find yourself not loving them then instead of searching them you start searching your own heart and that's what um, establishes or creates consistency uh, in the expression of that love and uh, you know a lot of us we don't we don't have difficulty you know in moments being able to demonstrate love but a vast majority of us struggle to find consistency in the expression of the love and so what I found is that when that love is rooted in your heart uh, uh, it's more consistent uh, in, in expression uh, but anyway that's what we talked about last week and uh, this week I want to uh, just take a few minutes to talk about uh, uh, relationships uh, it's, it's very 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 important to understand the concept of relationship uh, uh, in order to be able to love like Christ did us in order to be able to to love each other the way we would want to be loved. And I think that there are four key uh, relationships that uh, uh, if we focus on these things, and I have them kind of in, in chronological order because each one builds uh, on top of, of, of the previous one. So if we focus on really maintaining, uh, uh, establishing these four key uh, uh, relationships then our ability to be able to love each other uh, uh, the way God has loved us and our ability to be able to love each other and I'm not just talking about when I say love each other I'm not just talking about husband or wife or families I'm talking about me and the total stranger whose political views whose race uh, uh, whose 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 lifestyle I may not agree with, I'm talking about that guy, to just be able to love that person uh, the way God has loved me. So the first uh, relationship that, that we really need to focus on, it is the foundation, it is the life spring or the wellspring from, from which all our other relationships come, is our relationship with God. Here, let me tell you something. If you don't have a relationship with God, it's going to be impossible, and I say impossible, to demonstrate sustainable love towards anybody else. Because the Bible says in 1 John that God is love, okay? And it's important to understand that He is the source of that love internally that we want to demonstrate externally to the world. And so it's very important that first and foremost, you, you establish a firm, solid relationship with God. And think about that. Think about that word relationship. Relationship is, is, is two beings, two individuals together, you know, learning how to be with each other learning how you know each individual party is affected by each other and it's important that we just we move beyond the understanding that God is with us because he is with us if, if we've accepted him uh, in our life and if we've received his spirit he is he is with us to not just accepting the fact that he's with us but learning how to be with him and there are two ways really you can do that 
uh, 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 by studying his word because his word is him. He is his word. And so when you get in your Bible on a regular basis and, 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 and when, you, when you seek through that word to figure out, find out who he is, you'll understand better how to be with him. Okay, so that's the first relationship that we need to really, really make sure is solid because it's the foundation for every other relationship that I'm gonna talk about. The next relationship is something that I seldom hear people talk about consistently and that's my relationship with myself. And when I say my relationship with myself, it's important to understand that you're gonna view your relationship with your families, you're gonna review your relationship with this world, which is the next two relationships. You're gonna view those relationships from the lens of your relationship with God and how you see yourself. And so it's important that you not only understand how to be with God and how to, how to, how to be in relationship with Him, but it's important that you use what you learn in, 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 in your being in a relationship with God to really understand yourself. As a matter of fact, you're not gonna understand yourself, truly understand who you are until you've got that firm relationship with God, that relationship with Jesus Christ. And so when it comes to really uh, uh, being in a relationship with yourself, this requires, uh, in order for you to accurately or, or wholly understand who you are, this, this, this requires that you be okay with being with yourself. I know, I know many people who always have to be around somebody. I'm not necessarily saying with somebody because you can be with somebody and yet still uh, be able to find time to be with yourself. And so uh, what I'm talking about here is, is spending quality time with you, getting off of social media, uh, finding a quiet place where you could just sit and be with your own thoughts. Because the thoughts that you have, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a window into, into who you are. And if, if you're not okay with the thoughts that you have, that's an indication that there's some things about yourself that you don't like that you're not okay with, that uh, you need to begin to investigate. And the only way to be able to, 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 to spot those things, to be able to smoke those things out, is to spend some quality time with yourself inside of your own head. Uh, getting to know yourself, asking yourself, why do I think that way? And it's important that we, that we present ourselves. We always pose other people with questions, and we pose God with questions, but we never pose questions to ourselves. Why? Am I thinking that way? Why am I feeling this way? Why is this affecting me like this? And when you begin to, 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 to answer those questions about yourself, you will begin to know and understand yourself. And so when you know and understand God, and when you know and understand yourself, then that helps you better be in a relationship with your family. And when I say your family, uh, uh, I'm talking about all of those who are connected to you, either through blood, and family sometimes is more than blood. Family is, is those people that, that you have decided that through whatever pursuits, whatever position, whatever place I am uh, in life, these are the people that I'm gonna stay connected to. Uh, that I'm gonna do this life journey with. And so the wellspring of love or the source of, of love that you wanna exhibit toward those people is gonna be a result of you having a solid, firm relationship with God, a clear and accurate understanding of yourself, an acceptance of yourself, and a decision within yourself to say if there's anything inside of me that doesn't line up with with my relationship with God or how I know he wants me to treat other people a decision to start to say I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever it takes to work out those issues to work on those issues 
and that will better help you be able to love on those people you decided to stay connected to uh, in your life, okay? And so you have that relationship with God, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your family, which leads to the last relationship I think we really, we really, really, uh, as believers, especially with everything I, I'm seeing going on in the world around us from, you know, all the stuff happening in the Middle East to, to all the violence happening in schools to all the racial tensions here, here in America uh, uh, to our, uh, you know, uh, the LGBT uh, community, all these things going on. We are required in, in God's word to love everybody. And so what I'm saying is you've got a relationship with God, a relationship with yourself, a relationship with your family. But there should also be a relationship with this world. And when I say with this world, I'm not saying the things of this world. I'm saying with the people of this world. Regardless, regardless of whatever position they may be in, when they are uh, in your presence, regardless of what you think would think of them as people, uh, our responsibility is to love them. Because the only thing strong enough to make some sort of dent in all the issues that we're talking about, that we're that we gripe about, that we're complaining about, from politics to race on down. Uh, is love. No, 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 no amount of laws, no amount of rules, no amount of requirements or regulations can rectify or bridge the gap between those on one side of the fence and those on the other side of the fence. And so if I can learn how to allow my relationship with God my relationship with myself and my relationship with my family to teach me how to relate to the people in this world then as a believer then as a follower of Jesus Christ I can be more consistent in the exhibition of that love because allowing God to care for you and then allowing yourself to care for yourself. And then caring for your family will help you better care for the world around you. And the only thing that can create and establish solid, long-lasting, firm change is love. And so you'll hear me talk about love all the time. You hear me? You'll hear me do a lot of, a lot of speaking about love because that's the only thing that has true power. And the love I'm talking about is the love that comes from God. It's the only thing strong enough to to really alter uh, the course of human history, or to continue to alter uh, uh, the course of human history from the date that he died on that cross and gave his life as payment for our sins, redeemed us to him that, that we might have life eternally, and then has given us an opportunity to go spread that gospel message about the love of Jesus Christ, the love of God demonstrated through his son, so if, if during this week, if we could just take some time to really focus on those four relationships, your relationship with God, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with your family, your relationship with this world, then uh, I believe we can really 
really start to make a difference in the space around us. Anyway, I appreciate you listening to me once again, ramble out those thoughts, get them off my chest. Uh, be sure and uh, and uh, join join me next time uh, as we'll continue just to, to have conversations. Anyway, y'all have a great week and uh, uh, we'll see you soon.